Welcome back to the Independence, where we are asking, where's the pork? Where do your tax dollars go when you're not looking? Our next guest married his burning curiosity and unending need for transparency with technology, and he has crafted an app that follows the money. Adam Andrzejewski is the founder of Open the Books. Adam, welcome. Great to be on the program, Kennedy Matt and Camille. All right, so you have uh, apparently found the pork. Tell me about your website and your app. What do they do, and is it fun looking for government waste? Oh, it's a blast, uh, and we have no idea where our tax dollars are being spent. At OpenTheBooks.com, it is our mission to post online every dime taxed and spent at the federal, state, and local level across the country, and to that end, we've got a billion lines of government spending, and as I like to say, there's a thousand Pulitzers waiting to be won by rooting out the waste. I hope so. Well, Camille is, uh, is sitting here toying around with the app a little bit, and he has found some mighty interesting things. Yeah, I actually freaked out a buddy of mine a little earlier today because I looked up his salary. I, I punched in his name, quote, not expecting it to come back. How did you guys compile all of this information? What, what repositories did you go to uh, to grab all of this? Well, we're first to market in the largest database of federal spending, so we nearly have all disclosed federal spending. It took us a couple years, about a half a million dollars. It's been a lot of hard work. So we have five-year salary histories of the federal employees. We have uh, about 200 million lines of disclosed federal spending, all contracts, grants, loans, insurance payments, and farm subsidies. And uh, we we then went out to the states at the local level. We have 50,000 state em government employers uh, so at the local and state level, with all disclosed public salaries within those employers for at least one year. In states like Illinois and, and uh, in data like in California, in California we have 5 million salary and pension records at the federal, state, and local levels. But part of the fun here, right, is to get the recipients of government grants. It's to go into John Cougar Mellencamp's hometown of Seymour, Indiana, Woo! and type in the name Mellencamp, oh, wow. and see how many people are getting some of that delicious farm aid. Um, what are what do you have and what don't you have in terms of people who receive either corporate welfare or just government grants overall? Like right there in uh, in downtown Manhattan at Fox Studios, um, if you key one double oh thirty six, what you'll find is some interesting things. I mean, you find all sorts of uh, contracts, but you also find insurance payments to the biggest banks for billions of dollars to Wells Fargo and Citibank and Bank of America. Uh, you also find that a grant went to Chase Bank, J.P. Morgan Chase, for $31 million from the Centers of Disease Control. Now, we wanted to know what that was for because it says immunizations, and when we filed a request on the Office of Openness, Accountability, and Transparency in the Barack Obama administration, they said that they don't have a paper trail. They don't have the grant application. No audit was ever done. They can't find one piece of paperwork on that grant. And how much money was that again? That was $31 million to a bank for immunizations. I mean, that's incredible because Nancy Pelosi at the top of the show, we showed the clip where she says, you know, there's nothing to cut. The cupboard is bare. But clearly, your app shows the opposite. Well, it does. And uh, Kennedy, in your zip code out in California, on local salaries, what we find is that there's over 100 local officials earning over $200,000 a year at taxpayer expense. Oh my gosh, I'm totally getting on uh, Camille's iPad. No, we, we, we actually wanted to display the California State Checkbook. And so we filed a request with the California Comptroller. And after eight months of back and forth, he rejected our simple request to see the money without citing any, any California law, exemption under the Open Records Act. He just basically told us to go away. Wow, that is so Putin-esque. All right, well, Adam, thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me on the program. Here. Very good. And uh, you can download the app for yourself. Open the books. It's fascinating. You can you can check out different zip codes, people who live in your neighborhood, and if anyone works for the government, see if you can see what they make. And indeed, we found the pork. We'll share our thoughts, the forecast, and a nice appetizer next on The Independence.